everybody. Okay, so. <clears throat> I've got all my stuff ready, I hope. I'm just gonna. Go and find. Our little prompt card thing. I don't know if you can read it from the screen, but this I'm going to keep this open so I can see it. And we're going to do mission inspiration for February. Okay, and I've, I'm hoping I've got all my stuff ready that I need so that I can do this in pretty much one take and then maybe just edit out the boring bits because I am going to be drying some stuff in the future. Um, the first prompt is to cover a page of tissue text or newsprint. And I have a sewing pattern, which I thought would be perfect for this. I've covered this with two coats of gesso. The gesso is obviously not very uh, strong, so you can see everything through it. But hopefully with the layers, that will soon disappear. I'll rip this up a little bit. Grab some matte medium. Okay. So, I have actually made a New Year's resolution. I know it's a little bit late, but um, I've been reorganising my crafty stash. And I've realised I just have way too much stuff that I never use. And. Um, I have had enough of that, so I am banning myself from buying new art supplies this year. See how long that lasts. Okay, I'm sure you've all picked up before. No, I really want to use up what I have because I have some really nice stuff. Some really nice stuff, and I don't use it. Well, the reason I didn't use it is because it was all in a box. And then I had stuff on top of that box. And then whenever I thought, oh, I've got this, I could use that, I just look at this box and think, oh, but then I have to take all the stuff off the top to get into the box, search through the box, and actually, maybe I'll just use something else. <laughs> you know? And it also means my room is messy because I leave stuff out because I can't be bothered to put it away because I have to go back into the box. You know? So I've reorganised. Everything that I want to use is now in drawers. And I'm not going to let myself be messy. I'm not going to let myself. And then hopefully be able to use some stuff that I have and that I haven't seen for ages and you know all that good stuff and also I'm going to share a lot of my stuff with my friend I'm going to do some happy mail packages for her as I have said before I do have a happy mail group on Facebook and um, we did have a lovely lady who was sharing with us from America but too expensive for her to send us packages so, she's still there, I believe, waiting. So, if you are in America, join the group and see if she might want to share with you. It might be easier that way. And if you're in the UK, come and share with me and my friends. <laughs> Go a whole different way until I read further down the prompts, and it was like use a steampunk image, do this, do that. I was like, okay, steampunk this month then, <laughs> because I have some gorgeous tissue papers that I found when I was tidying up, and um, 
Yeah, butterflies and things. Let me use those. Then I found this while I was hiding up. So, oh yeah, I can use the sewing pattern. And I was really trying to cover up the screen. Yeah, I can only wish I hadn't gone to the card, but you know, hindsight. Wonderful thing, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to film this all in one take if I can, and then just edit out anything like strain telling me that. Although I'm not sure if my camera will allow that with the semi card. Due to my early videos, it kind of cuts out. It doesn't tell me, and then starts recording again, and then you get big gaps. So, I don't know, maybe I will pause it whilst I'm doing. No, no, do I need to dry this? Maybe I'll dry it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. <clears throat> That'll do for that. Now the next step is to add a thin coat of spritz ink or colour. One of the suggested colours is brown. So I grab my Dina Rowney sepia ink. And just dropped about four or five drops into this spray bottle. We're going to see how that works. Uh, oh, I just need to get the. No, it's going to need a few more drops because it's just like water. So. <laughs> I can't really see it. Add a couple. Kind of squirt a whole load in there and see how this works. Is it a good mix? There we go. Like in the mottled effects, I'm going to try and dry it as it is. Try and keep that. Okay, so that's dry enough now. Let's that palette knife. Uh, the next step is to add. Oh, uh, a tinted texture paste. A stencil, and then again, you've got orange as a suggested color. Where did I put it? Yeah. And I'm going to pop some orange down in there. So. Oh, not too much. There we go. And I'm going to grab the fiber paste. Not much, I don't think, so let's mix that up see what we get. Might be a bit too much paint. No, no, it's okay. What's the hair on that face? Hair on that face. There we go, sorry about that. Now then, um, I have some choices of stencils. I have numbers, I have Tim Holtz one, and I have these arrows. Hmm. Let's go for the arrows. I'm getting orange paint everywhere now. <laughs> I 
Let's just do a couple of those. I nearly meant to wipe that on the uh, pot then, let's not do that, let's not contaminate. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way. I do want another stencil. I'll leave it up cleaning it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to grab these little up. I'm going to collate all gold. And I'm going to get. Uh, where's my little bit yet? Oh, oh dear. I'll use up the rest of that orange. And something else in a bit. Right now I'm going to grab a little bit more of the time to put it on. Let's just get a fresh we've got a fresh one underneath, let's use that. A little bit more. Let's do lots of that. Comes out a bit more way. I'll be ended. <laughs> right. That. Okay, let's grab. I'm going to do the Tim Holtz one, the green mark. So. I'm going to dry this a little bit so that it doesn't mush. 
so I'll be right back. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Right, next step is to colour, string or twine and add to the page. I have some drone. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need, so let's put that up here. It's a very, very white string. Um, let's use the sepia ink that I made. I'm just sort of spray it and a bit in there. Well, it's not the sepia ink that I made, it's the sepia spray that I made out of some ink. <laughs> you know. Perhaps should have wet the string first, that would have helped it absorb a bit more. So again, that's nice and mucky now. And now how are we going to add this to the page? Um, Needs to be dried a little bit so it will stick. So let's grab the heat gun and drop the pilot lens. I'm thinking some sort of bow would be nice. I also have somewhere in here. Bow maker. But I don't need because it's just stuff in the box. <laughs> so let's make a lovely bow. Yeah, 
Ya Allah. Ya, amin. Banyak tanya. You have to remember how you do it. I mean, you push both those through. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, so I wrapped it round. I've gone down. I think this is how you do it. So up, down. I don't know. about right to me. I'll have to um, look at the instructions again. <laughs> That's very good by me. I do have a little instruction DVD somewhere. Um, well, it's a bow anyway. It's a bow, that's true. No, I'm not going to stick it on yet. I'm going to put my images on first. Let's see what the next step is. Add one or more steampunk style focal images. Now then, I've had these for ages. I bought them from the works for 50p. Um, now, knowing what my Titles is going to be. I'll put it down in the pink. <laughs> Let's have. Oh, this fellow at the bottom. This fellow at the bottom. ladies up here. I can get them off. Take off the little holes. Yeah, I would have liked one going the other way, but hmm. maybe maybe I'll use this one. And then we can have this one here. This is our one the gold one coming in there. And our lady here. Trying it and see. There we 
Okay, now we can push those down. And that paint's a bit wet, so it's got a bit orange. Never mind. Um, we should turn it up more that way. Flat bang in the middle. What was I thinking? going okay um i'm actually gonna grab some ink um i don't have anything like a quill or anything like that do i have anything to invest in a nice ink pen I think. Okay, like that. Now then. Maybe we stick our bow in here. Jumpy here, I like it. So I just get my gel medium out. Draw this, here we go. Now then, what is our next step? Uh, add a headline quote or phrase. Now I'm just going to add one of the words, which is whimsical. And I'm going to grab my label maker. And I'm going to get this. Cartridge, which is a clear stick out with black writing. Let's see, I'm going to do this. Yep. Yeah. Should we do it in capitals? I don't know. Cool. 
Mm, I'm not gonna cut it. Mm. I'll put it there. Is it gonna disappear? The top piece of the I think that will be okay. So let's get rid of the excess. And then I'll just stuff it to the back of itself. Oh my goodness. It's not even going well, is it? <laughs> I thought I was so prepared. There we go. Garnish it a little bit with my nails so that it sticks and it sort of becomes a bit more of the background. Nice and clean. Um, mm. Bit shiny. I'm going to pop. Gel medium over the top. So this is the matte gel medium. So that would just knock that shine back a bit, hopefully. Alright, uh, so what's the next? Add metallic elements, paint, ink, foil, etc. Well, I'm going to add. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, where are they? Behind me. I'm a little proud of the surface for that photo. Now normally you'll probably put them through the page, but 
obviously I have January's page underneath and I don't want to go through it so I'll just flatten them and glue them on no biggie right so we grab the gel medium again You don't have to show us in that page. Maybe I need to learn that too. <laughs> Is it going to be a nice page without tips and points in it? We shall see. I'm starting to like it now. Say. Now then, let's see what's the last one. Which for the frame or border of your choice. And what I'm going to do is go a little bit, shall we? Probably better if it's not. Okay, okay. Tips of steam point on your page. Let's just go. There we go. Okay, let's just scalp this off a little bit. And then thing underneath, which I think I'm going to need a fresh piece of paper underneath. Use this one for arting on. Make a nice background for something. Okay. Lovely. Right, I'm just going to trim the excess sewing pattern away now. Okay, so that is that page finished. Um, whilst we're here and we have it out, we have put it behind us and let's just pop the holes back in. And I should be able to see them. I have to turn it over. I can see it from there. See it clearer. There we go. There we go.
Do I put it? No, I'm putting it in the bed. There we go. There we are. I'm going to take some photos of this page and pop them at the end of the video so you can see what it looks like when it's nice and dry. And you can read that again. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing it, and again, it was quite a quick page once I'd got everything assembled that I needed. I didn't necessarily know how it was going to turn out, just no knew the supplies that I needed to use. Let me just check that we've got everything covered with tissue paper. I had a thin coat of spritz ink or colour. Add tin to texture paste through a stencil, colour string or twine and to the page, add one or more steampunk style focal images, add headline quote or phrase, add metallic elements and finish with a frame or border of your choice. And I think we've done all that. That's brilliant. Okay then, so thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.